It was just this week a survey of Denver public school teachers showed many are exhausted by the workload and the daily challenges brought on by the pandemic and a lot of them are thinking about quitting unless something changes. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon talked with a teacher in the district who says the results of that survey align with what he sees in the classroom and what he hears from colleagues. So here's what he thinks needs to change. Drive by the Denver Center for International Studies. This is my 16th year in the Denver Public Schools. You might miss the people with a passion. It's the only career that I feel like you really do touch the future. Facing challenges you can't study enough for. It hasn't been easy. This is Kevin Adams meeting us in a rare moment outside of school. There's never enough time in the day. Time spent lesson planning. How do we approach it? How do we message this to kids? Navigating the constant changes of the pandemic. It's much more than teachers. Like, we, we are psychologists, right? And meeting the social-emotional needs of students. I've found notes at the end of my class on the floor that says I'm thinking about killing myself. All reasons, he says, separate teachers from other careers. People do teaching for the love, yes. Yeah, we love our students. But, you know, we are humans and we have to survive to Adams believes entry level teachers in Denver should be paid at least $65,000 a year. If he could, he'd also like to cap class sizes at 15 or 20 kids rather than the 35 limit he says is currently the standard in Denver public schools. You, you think about like, what else could I do? What other jobs could I do? But I think in the end, what keeps me coming back? Year after year, the answer is the kids. Adams also tells me if he could, he would change the evaluation process for teachers. He says it can be a burden on them in Denver public schools. He also says a tangible way to support teachers is through the form of bond or mill levies when those come around. Plus, he would love to see more community members volunteering in schools so they could see what the needs are firsthand. Yeah. Live in Denver, Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. Great to hear some real tangible solutions there from him, Colette.